Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm sharing with you a design team project for Trisils Deluxe. Um, forgive my voice if it's a bit raspy, I haven't been very well. Picked up a cold, don't know how, it hasn't even been cold here apart from one morning. So I feel a bit cheated in the weather department there, but anyway. Um, today I have made up a sweet little gift box. I've reused a box that I got um, uh, when I ordered from Bookbinders online. It was just a sweet little um, white cardboard box and I'll put a little snippet if I can find it in here so you can see what the box looked like first. Um, and I have just covered it and I covered the box with this lovely um, it's almost like a cardstock that um, Irene sent me, who is Crafty Irina. And what I did was that was the paper, and I have used like a rectangle going like that. So I had the pink down the bottom and the teal colour up the top. As you can see under the lace here, you can see the pink. And up the top is the teal colour and I think it works really, really well. Over the top of that I used some lace that I had in my stash, which is a lovely ivory coloured net lace. And I laid a piece there and a piece there. And I just trimmed off the top part of it so I didn't get a line going through it. Over the top of that lace I used a beautiful trim from Trezor's Deluxe and I laid that in the center like that and then I just pieced uh, some appliques sorry about that that's just someone going down the road on a scooter underneath I have just pieced some of the applique pieces together cut them up and position them. There's the teal appliques and the pink appliques and I will also insert a little picture of those appliques here so you can see which ones I use. On top here I have layered these beautiful organza flowers. How pretty are they? And they're just, this is part of one I have left, they're just an organza flower. There's no centerpiece in them. And I used two. I, I used the larger petals from this particular dusty pink or peachy pink colour. And I put it down the bottom here. And then I used the, the like a, a light grey colour in between. And then I put another few of these little petals on top of that one. And then I've used the stunning bling from Trezor's Deluxe in the centre there and I think it's ever so pretty. See there's the dimension you can see the teal appliques there but they're not too like bright when you're looking at it from the top which is what I wanted. I didn't want it to overpower the whole box. Um, along the edges I've used two different laces from Trezor's Deluxe. I've used this um, beautiful, beautiful soft mesh lace here um, on each side as you can probably see there. There we go. I just trimmed it to size and put it on the, the side. So I've used that one along the side because I didn't have a lot left of that. And then across the front and the back I have used this other mesh lace which is a little bit stiffer and I've just trimmed that down and put it along the front here and also along the back here and um, under that is another paper that Irene sent me it's just a it's kind of like a grid but it's like a mishmash kind of gridded pattern um, of teal and white uh, around the edge here I've used my own trim which was from Lingcraft. Um, it's a favourite of mine. It's just a very easy to use tiny trim. And it had the silver thread going through it. And I've used two layers of that. So the silver picks up the silver in the appliques and also on the beautiful bling. I've used a bit of pink organza or with a flower centre from Trezor's Deluxe just as my pull because 
this kind of box is the kind where you I'll just here we go see how it has this little tab that sits inside this hole and it was very hard to sort of get to and I needed to put something there to pull that tab up without ripping all the top part off or anything so I've just I've just wrapped a bit of organza going around there and around the back here and I have a little bit of paper there that needs perhaps trimming down just excuse me and we'll we'll continue to it's just a little bit long for my liking across there Um, there we go and I kind of roughed my edges up on my paper like that to give it a bit of a shabby look which is what I wanted um, makes there we go yeah give it a shabby look so I wrapped that organza around the tab going up like that and glued it let it dry securely and then I just, like I said, put a little flower center on that side. And I've actually put a little heart on the other side as well, just to, you know, cover the back up. On the inside, I've used the same teal color griddish kind of paper on the bottom and the top. I've used my little um, trim that was my own along there to cover up the seam of the paper joining. I've used a lovely crocheted heart doily from Tresors Deluxe in the center and then under that I've just put a scrap of lace um, you know just to add a bit of wispiness to it and then gone around the edge of the heart with my own trim again also and there you can see the makings of the box it's a very very simple box I painted these edges because I didn't want to add any more bulk um, you know, as it is when you're gluing and adding things to these kinds of boxes, you don't, um, they don't always fit properly anymore, so you've got to be careful what you're doing. So I painted the tabs on the inside, didn't have to worry about the outside because they were already white, and I painted inside here as well, um, as that has to sort of fit in there like that. So I didn't want to add too much bulk. Um, and that is about it for this project. And so that slots in there. And I think it's made a very sweet little gift box that um, I'm sending to somebody. Uh, and I hope they like it. I think it's very soft and wispy and pretty. And, and there we go. So there's a, a little gift box made with laces and trims and things from Trezors Deluxe. So take care everybody and thank you so much for watching. Bye!